Okay, we're back and we're going to talk about uh, the user manager in this screencast and uh, briefly about the different user types that uh, are available to you with the Joomla default installation. So over on the Joomla screencast library page, I define the different types of users for you. So in this screencast, we're going to simply look at how to manage those user types. But you will need to uh, decide what type of users you want to allow on your site and, uh, and um, you know, have that figured out before you uh, go into your user manager. For the most part, the front end uh, of your site you're going to want to allow people to register perhaps and they would be registered users but if you want to allow other people to add content to your site you have the other options that were explained um, for instance you can set a user as an author uh, or an editor administrator super administrator so it all depends on uh, what access you want to give uh, each user so once you've decided that you can manage that in the user manager and uh, you'll see it right here on this big icon right here on the control panel so you're gonna open that up and that's gonna show you all the users on your site so this is my just my testing area so I'm the only registered user but uh, this would show you you know no matter how many registered users you had authors and editors it would show a list of all of your users here and you could manage that as well. So say someone, uh, you know, said you wanted to change a password or a name for someone, you simply would open up their uh, user account and you can edit everything right here. Name, username, email, you can add, you can create a new password and you can change their status here. So you'll see this is very clearly broken down, the, the public front end. In general, if someone's registering for your site, a general user, um, you know, that would be registered. And again, you can see uh, the types of uh, users on the screencast library page. But you would set that here for the front end and for the back end. And um, you can also send emails to all of your users. We'll look into that in the tools on a later screencast. So you can set that if you want them to receive that or not. And you know, here's um, we. This is only an English-based Joomla website, so obviously the, you know, it's there's only one language, which is English. But if you had multiple languages, you could you could select it here. So again, the text editor. If you had different text editors, you could set that here as well for each for you know for your user. But in general, you can just uh, use the default. Uh, you know, let, leave that set in the global configuration. You don't really have to set it here as well. Uh, but you can if you want to give someone access to a different editor that you've installed. So that's how you um, manage existing users. And I can't change that because it's a super administrator, so that's what that little notice is about. Uh, but let's say you want to add a new user. You just click New. And you simply add in their name, their username, email, create a password, and then set their access. So if someone else is helping you manage your site, you could set, the, set them up as an administrator or a manager or a super administrator depending on what access you want to give them in your Joomla uh, control panel. And again, the same for here. You know, you'll need to uh, read uh, the different types of um, users to, to properly set this. But in general, for your front-end users, you're going to just set it to registered. And these, you know, if you have other people managing your site with you, you're going to be in the back end. So that's how you add uh, users and uh, manage your users. So that's it for this screencast, and we'll move on to menus in the next screencast. Bye.